Flooding continues along the lacrosse shores of the Mississippi River, and according to the National Weather Service, the river is currently just over 14 and a half feet. Yeah, with that flooding, some parks are having to close trails and roads. One in particular is Pettibone, a popular summer destination for visitors and locals alike. News 19's Roger Staffaroni ventured down to the beach earlier today. A nice day for that, Roger. <laughs> uh, but you're learning what parts, if any, are still able to be enjoyed. Indeed, it I'm dressed for the beach. Look at me. Hello, Dustin. I spoke with park officials who told me that while La Crosse is no stranger to flooding, summer floods are more of a curveball. Now, recreational boating and other outdoor events are not as affected by that spring river flooding, but June into July, boats and river festivities are in full swing. And while Pettibone Beach is noticeably smaller, there was more than enough sand for some people looking to soak up the sun. One of them telling me they've seen this before, so they plan accordingly. I mean, we've, I've got, this would be my senior year, so we've seen this last year for sure. I mean, this whole building was underwater last year, so we've been used to it. I would just say be careful. The, it's, the current's really high, obviously, and it's moving a lot faster than normal. So, yeah, that's about it. And while the beach was accessible, the rest of the park, not so much. Pettibone Drive currently will get you to the beach and the beach house, but the road further south is underwater. Drive to the north, even more so. And Dustin, you can see that the water in the park is not just covering the trails, but flowing across them. One park official telling me that when the water does recede, there will be parts of the road and trails washed out and gone. The lesson, do not walk through any water covered areas, period, the end. And take your time once those waters recede as well, it sounds like. Thanks, Roger. And this week, of course, is Riverfest, which is set to begin on Wednesday, still going on as planned. According to Riverfest Lacrosse's Facebook page, this high water will not interfere with this week's events.